You know that the Perseids, the Leonids, you know, you're a sky watcher, you know how big a deal those are. Mm -hmm. But this was completely off my radar. I don't know about you. I really had never heard about this. Well, last year wasn't really quite as much of a show. The moon was so bright mm -hmm. that it competed with the uh, meteor shower. So this year, we actually have a better chance and a better viewpoint of seeing the Leo radiant. So all you need to do is, is basically look outside, and the, the, the darker the better, so after midnight is best and close to dawn. And just look to the northeast sky towards the constellation Lyrid, which I probably couldn't pick that out without a sky map. But yeah, just look tough. to the northeast and, and look for look for shooting stars. Of course, uh, Bonnie, we need clear skies to, to take care of that. So I'll let you get to the forecast and show yeah. folks where, where the skies are going to be clear. All right, Rob. Most of the country really will have a good viewpoint, a good perspective to see this. So that's some good news. But there are some places where it's not going to be as visible. And that's really the eastern half of the country. Why? Well, a front is passing through, and it's been stormy in New York City. We're going to see more of that kind of covering up the pretty skies for tonight. I think, Georgia, you'll see a better picture if you're more to the west of Atlanta. But then you could see, look at this big section of the U.S. where we are going to see clear skies, like in Denver and St. Louis. So here's a little bit about the Leeward Meteor Shower. The specs of the comet Thatcher's Dust hitting the top of the atmosphere at 110,000 miles per hour. So it's incredibly fast. And with that speed, and when it hits the atmosphere, it disintegrates into a flurry of meteors. So the meteor showers occur about 15 to 20 per hour normally in most years. But I mentioned to Rob that the new moon this year is actually going to make for a better show because when you have a new moon, the darker side of the moon faces the Earth. So we want to have a darker moon so it doesn't compete with the meteor showers. So where and when can you get a chance to see this spectacular show? Midnight to dawn, best after 3 a.m. So what you really want to do is be watching just before the sun comes up when the sky is dark. That's when you'll really get a good viewpoint. So let your eyes adjust to the dark, lay on the ground in a lounge chair, and view as much of the sky as possible. Some people, when they're looking in one direction, it's kind of confusing where to look. So you may catch it more in your peripheral vision, so even if you get confused of what direction to see. So I would say anywhere towards the Midwest or the western half of the country, you really have a spectacular show. And I think that because this is happening on a Saturday night and a Sunday night, a lot of people might not have to wake up for work the next day, and you may have a chance to see this. Now, you'll have to wait till next year to see it again, so try to get out there this weekend.